see already so far there's already this ball right here that is locked so if you keep going Yo, what's up? I feel like I haven't made a video in a while, but I really have been enjoying all of you guys' comments and love on the last video I posted, which was when I did 100 push-ups for 30 days. If you guys haven't already watched that video, make sure to click the link down below. A lot of y'all like, yo, why are you wearing shades? These are actually just tinted glasses and it just makes it easier for, you know, like being outside, especially in the really sunny weather or just being inside or working on the computer that I just really, I'm enjoying these tinted glasses. They're really comfy. A lot of people ask me where I get my glasses from. I get all my glasses from firmu.com and they always have some really good deals on. And you can check out all their selection. They have different collections for different seasons or different times or different people. And these are at a really, really, really good price. And I really wanna start trying the tinted glasses look. I'm actually really stoked on them so far. I've had these for about a week and testing them out has been going very well. But you guys, in today's video, you guys are probably looking at my hair like, yo, what the heck is going on? Yeah, this is what has been going on. This one is like almost completely out, but obviously will form over time. But um, all these in the back are looking really good. If you look at these, they're actually like getting hard in the middle, which is really good, what you wanna expect um, in about the first month. So I've had these in for a month, either a little over a month or a little under a month. But yeah, they are super messy. I'm letting, I'm letting them like basically go. And in today's video, I just wanna clean them up and show you how to instantly lock dreadlocks. You guys saw this when I did this on Diddy when I gave him instant dreadlocks with a crochet needle. So in today's video, it's gonna be very similar. I'm gonna be using the Queenly crochet needle right here. This is the size 0.5 millimeter. I think there's another size that I like to use and I think it is a 0. Point, I think it's a 0.11 or 0.12 or something like that. But you wanna use something that is a little smaller. But I really like this crochet needle because it does come with that handle and it makes it so much easier. But in today's video, we're gonna be doing instant dreadlocks and you'll see how easy it is to actually do this. A lot of people have recommended me to use the crochet needle on my own hair and I was really against it because I want these to form with just using Twisting with Gel, which is what I have been doing lately and I've been using the Jamaican Mango and Lime Locking Gel, but I have not used this or done any twisting in about two weeks. So I've just allowed them to freely form. And I made that video uh, recently, but if you want to update on how I'm actually going about handling these, you can click on that video and it explains everything so that there's no surprises on these next upcoming videos. But yeah, I would encourage you, if you are going to be doing Tissima with Gel, use the Jamaican Mega One Lime Locking Gel. Link to this is going to be down below and a link to the Queen Lee crochet hook is going to be down below as well. But you guys, without further ado, I'm gonna go ahead and walk you through a quick process on this one right here. I'll show you what it looks like beforehand. You can see how this is all loose. And this is how loose my locks are right now. Um, some of them are tighter than this one is, but we'll use this one as an example. Now for doing instant dreadlocks, you always wanna start from the root of the actual lock itself. And since I have my sections out, which this is a perfect way to start doing the instant locks, is if you already did the twisting with gel or you twisted your hair, or you have sections of some sort, it's best to start the crochet hooking process right now versus starting from scratch, which you can do it either way, but this is just easier because there's the sections that are already made. But I'm gonna show you in this video, um, starting at the tip. And the reason for this, I wanna show you guys on my hair texture on how to actually lock up hair with a crochet hook is very simple. It's the same as how I did it on Diddy's hair. And I'll leave a link to that down below as well because you'll see the two different hair textures. He's about a 4C with my hair being a 3C. So it's a whole different step. So I'm gonna take this and the whole time you want to go in and out. But always point the tip of the crochet needle at the end of the lock and the tail of the crochet needle or the handle towards the roots. And you always wanna to pull towards the roots. And it doesn't matter how fast you go, but you do wanna be precise on how you are actually doing this. Because all I'm doing is I'll show you from the outside, is I'm going in and out, 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 in and out. But you want to pull in all the loose hair into the lock. That's all it's doing. All you're doing is you're going in, through, and you see how it's out? It's grabbing hair as you pull back in and it stop and it pulls that hair into the lock. And I usually hold the hair like this. So my hands are like this with the lock in between and have it like this. And I literally just go in through here and then pull it out like that. 
So I'll just keep going. This is about the pace I will do. And you want to twist the lock as you're doing it. And you'll notice this will tighten everything up, pull it all together. And if you were to keep doing this, you can lock up your whole head. I did Diddy's head in about three hours. It didn't take long, especially after the hair is already established with its sections. All you have to do is go in with the crochet hook and pull all that loose hair in. And you'll see how quick this will actually pull it all in. Depending on the hair type, we'll, we'll be able to see how quick the hair will actually lock up. See already, so far, there's already this ball right here that is locked. So if you keep going, you'll be able to lock all this up and blunt it off. And the reason why you want to start at the base, you want to lock it up at the root and then you keep going down and as you're locking up the length of the hair, you're pulling it all into that locked up part. See what happens if you do it from the tip, if you're trying to pull hair into just loose hair, it's not going to lock as quick. But just for the sake of this video, I'll show you that this actually works really well. Because what would happen is if you started from the tip like I'm doing and you actually did all the length of your hair, you would retain some length, but you'd have some thin spots due to it not being pulled into the right spots. What I mean by that is if you have a locked up section or you're trying to pull loose hair into a locked up section and say it doesn't grab onto one of those you know, locked up parts, it will just be pulled into something that is loose and there will be loose parts, there will be tight parts versus if you start at the root, the whole thing would be tight. So you can already see right there that this 100% is basically locked up. Now I can go back in, you can see that there's still some loose uh, hairs in there, I can still pull all that in. And you can get these as tight as you want, you can get them as loose as you want. Um, it all it takes is more crochet hooking. So if you keep going in, you're gonna pull in all that loose hair. I'll go lower down so you can see more of the length. But it's no joke, like not even messing around or doing anything off camera. You can see that I'm talking this entire time showing you that this actually works. And I'll definitely give a huge shout out to Chris McDread. He's the one who I would say put instant dreadlocks on the map. And I started doing it and then I I start seeing other people doing it. And this is just a really huge thing and this is why a crochet needle is so important if you want to have dreadlocks or start dreadlocks, just because this is what will transform them the quickest and get them to where you want them to be. A lot of people don't like when people, um, you know, maintenance their hair and I completely understand, but if you wanna get these for the style and the fashion and you wanna instantly lock up your hair, this is definitely the route you want to go. And if you haven't heard about this, um, instant locking method, it's, it'll change your life if you're really trying to get dreadlocks because this, like I said, will instantly lock up your hair. All you have to do is know how to do it. So I'll walk you through the process one more time. All you do is go in and out of the hair. You want to go completely through the dreadlock, completely back through. And what this does is it constantly pulls the hair out and around, out and around, and it just locks up the hair ties knots in your hair, which that's how dreadlocks are created, by knots. And it's really as simple as that, going in and out. Works easier on thicker and coarse hair, and it's a little tough on thinner hair, or straight hair. But you can see right there, everything's blunted off, you see that there's not a coil in there anymore, and that's how you instantly lock up hair. If I were to do this on the entire lock, this thing would lock up instantly, and that's just how it goes. But you guys, um, if you haven't already, it'll explain everything in the video of me talking about how I'm getting freeform dreadlocks. This is why I'm not going to be keeping this in. I definitely just wanted to show you guys that it is still possible with any hair type um, because I showed you on Activerse's or Diddy's uh, hair that it actually works. And I wanted to show you on mine that this actually really works, especially coming from hair that is not locked completely to showing you that this is completely locked up. I am gonna be taking this out. I'm gonna try to take it out on camera to see how quick I can take it out. I'll tell you one thing, that it's easier to put dreadlocks in than to take them out. Because if any of you guys do remember, I used to have a full set of high top dreads and I combed them out completely, combed all of them out. It took me three months. So it was a lot of patience. And I'm gonna be taking this out on camera to see how quick I can actually get this out. So it's kind of like a two-in-one video on 
how to instantly lock up dreadlocks and how to try to instantly take them out. I'll tell you, putting them in is more instant than taking them out. But you guys, hopefully this video did help you out as far as the whole tutorial on how to use the crochet hook and make sure to go purchase this. You can check it out in the link down below. I'll link you straight to it. And I'm telling you, this is the number one thing you need for dreadlocks. If you only had this, you're completely fine with any hair type, with straight hair, curly hair, or really coarse and thick hair. The cool thing about this is I believe I'll be able to unlock my hair with just this, but it might take some time, but we'll do our best and see how it goes. Um, I'm just gonna start at the tip and work my way down. Yeah, this is bad. <laughs> I already locked it up. And for all, this is like answering everyone's question about, man, you do so much to your hair, you're damaging your hair, you do all kinds of things to your hair. And the reason I do so much to my hair is because I have an audience that comes for hair tutorials, that comes and learns things from and about my hair. This is so that you guys can learn, and I do this so that you guys can learn. I make what you would call a, I would say, sacrifice of my own hair um, because I am here to teach you guys how to actually use these things. To be honest, a lot of the things that I do to my hair aren't 100% damaging. Like this is probably the most damaging you'll get is trying to unlock um, dreadlocks, but these only been in for however long, five minutes. It's not gonna take that long to get them out because you already see I got the tip out, but it is taking some time. But for anybody who asks or has that question, why do you do this to your hair? This dude switches up his hairstyle all the time. And the whole purpose for that is because I have an audience that is here to learn. And that's why I try to come up with as much content as possible. It's not just about me on this channel. It's about helping you guys out 100%. I don't, I don't want to have a channel that is all about me but I want it to bring something to you guys, whatever it is. So that'll help you with understanding what the whole purpose of me doing these things are and you know, helping you guys out 100% because like I said, I do this for you guys. But I'm actually almost through this one. Man, if combing out my dreadlocks was this easy when I did it the first time, sheesh, saved me a whole bunch of time. Having your hair locked up for four years it is not forgiving. <laughs> But yeah, if you want to, say you crush your hair and you're not digging it, you can take it out. Just know that there might be minimal damage if you do it the same day, or I mean, if you do it within weeks. But um, the thing is, is, if you take your time, you're not gonna damage your hair as much. Now, if you're taking what I did first time, it's more damaging because I just took a comb, metal comb, and just brushed. I was just trying to get rid of them. I didn't care how much hair I retained afterward. I just made sure that I had some hair afterward. Um, but if you do it like me, it really doesn't take much time. And if you're patient with your hair, with whatever you're doing, um, you most likely will not damage your hair. But I only have a little bit left, I believe. But I am really glad that I made this video because, I mean, this is just one of those things that I always think about that I'm like, ah, I don't really wanna make that video because I don't wanna lock up my hair and then eventually not be able to get it out if I don't if I don't want to keep it that way. And it's just one of those things to where I made a tough decision so that I can benefit you guys. A lot of these videos that I make up or come up come up with, it's it can be tough for me to create, but I know it's gonna benefit a lot of people. So I really do hope it's benefited you because I don't want to just make these just just to make these or just for fun or anything like that. Even though it is fun making these, I really enjoy making videos. Alright, I believe I got it out, but I'm just gonna twist it up for now. Ooh, but yeah guys, that is today's video. Hopefully you really enjoyed it. Make sure to go check out uh, Queenly. It is on Amazon, so uh, you can purchase one of these. This is also on greatlocks.com. All the products that I promote are on greatlocks.com, like the Jamaican Mango and Lime Locking Gel. You can purchase this on there as well, but everything's gonna be linked down below so you don't have to go and search for it on the web or have to leave your house in order to get any of these things because yo, Amazon's like all of our best friends. <laughs> you can order something and get it in like a day, same price. But you guys hopefully enjoyed today's video. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up if you did. Please comment down below your thoughts. I really wanna hear what you guys have to say. But other than that, I'll see you guys next time. Hopefully you guys do have an amazing day. Matter of fact, have a great day. Peace out and God bless.